Hello everyone, and welcome back to Feature Fridays. Today I have brought to you guys an indie game called Second Earth. And let me tell you right now, this game looks absolutely amazing. As you guys can probably tell just by looking at me. Uh, so let's just start over the new campaign. There's going to be a little bit of cinematic that's going to play. So I'm going to be quiet. Do you want to breathe unprocessed air again? Smell something other than sulfur in the air? Or sink your teeth into fresh produce? Then it's time for you to start a new life on Proxima Centauri B, better known as Second Earth. Would you like to know more? Oh, I love this edition. If you guys have uh, heard of the movie Starship, Starship Troopers, the Would You Like to Know More part is like, hmm, really takes a bat. Let's hit it. Join the first wave of colonists to settle on Second Earth. Explore the new frontier. A place with untapped natural resources and mostly harmless wildlife. Sign up to the Second Earth program now to unlock your full potential and clear all your family's debts. Call 0800 Second Earth Labor now. Second Earth, because life's better the second time around. Bam, will you look at that? I love the way this game looks. Uh, so this game is... It's a part like a city builder, base builder, but it's also part strategy. So I actually haven't played it yet, but uh, let's just go on over here. Let's have a look at this. So new horizons, wildlife scarce or density high. So let's say we're just here to mine. We got a mining camp, greenhouse, community center, and a garrison. So this actually looks like a game I'm probably actually end up making a series on because it looks so beautiful. You guys can get it right now on itch.io. It's called Second Earth. Um, I actually haven't had a chance to read through like all the stuff um, in the description. I don't know if it's, I think it's still under development. I'll probably put some information down in the description below for like more details. So let's just have a look at this email we got. Joffy Seamus, net worth 34 million. Oh shoot, I got net worth too, 11 million. Oh, interesting. Okay, colony director. Welcome to the district. I oversee expansion in this region, so you'll be on my team. We're a tight-knit unit with a high performance, high profit attitude. Ah, so capitalists have taken over the earth. A new settlement in this region is bound to catch middle management attention. Show us what you can do. Okay, so we're trying to, we're trying to make profit. Radio activate your face. Oh, I hope not. Okay, partly cloudy with high winds. Let's get into the mission. And let's see what's happening over here. Load and load and load. Can't believe this is all made by Unity Unreal Player. Ooh, like the Unity Unreal Engine. Oh, orbital management. I love the way everything looks. Let's see. New citizens are eager to work. We require you to provide food and housing for these citizens. You may collect rent and manage their labor in return. Build a greenhouse. So let's see over here. Ah, and then I guess rent is the money here. And the money is produced by healthy citizens. Ah, and then greenhouses produces crops and it uses energy and it requires four workers. Oh, and I guess these are our power stations here. You know, guys, I really love uh, space building games. Um, I don't know, there's something about like this sort of futuristic vibe. Oh my God, I can zoom in like this too. Oh, that's beautiful. And they're like making some sort of like apple or something. I love it. I love these sort of really nice looking space games. Okay, so build a community center. Go to location. So I got to, there's recommending that I build a, build this over here. Ah, okay, so everything's all set up for me. I guess this is, this is the tutorial level. So this is the community center. Uh, and oh, so it builds like a housing district basically. And right now we need food consumption. Uh, build a garage. Let's see. So garage is right here. Provides an additional delivery truck. Ah, okay. And so this is how goods circulate across your city, I'm assuming. Uh, is there a way I can rotate this? No, I can't. Um, can I? I can't rotate this. Hmm. I really want to know how, how I can rotate this. Mm, is, it, is it this key? Is it this key? Is it this key? No, nope, that rotates the map. Can I rotate the building? I guess I can't rotate the building. Oh, no, they want me to put it here. Okay, okay. There we go. Deliver food to the community center. Delivery trucks pick up goods and deliver them where the goods are needed using your road networks. Ah, okay, so he's coming here. Oh my god, look at his little truck. Oh, and he picks up the food. Ah, and it goes around. Oh, this actually makes road networks a lot more complex now because I got to figure out how to optimize it because it's like goes around here, comes around this way, and, and then pops it back down here. So traffic optimization is actually going to be a thing. That's very interesting. Okay. So, tasks. We need to new citizens. Um, food is being delivered, right? You can speed up time using the controls in the top left menu right here. Ah, okay. Wait, something just got dropped from space. Did you guys see that? Rent collectors try to circle 
Your community center is collecting rent from residents. You can speed up. Okay, yeah, okay. Try to circle your community centers collecting rent from residents. Interesting, okay. Uh ah oh wait, 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 wait. Can I can I zoom in again? I don't want I want I don't want this view. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. And this is an indie game too. Can you guys imagine that? This is amazing. Uh and what's this building? Oh, we have a starport here. Oh, I love that. Ooh, ooh. I love this. Okay, let's see what's it. Well done, director. Civilians are flocking to this outpost. You are requested to build a mining camp to provide jobs for these eager colonists. Humanity is power. All right, we got to build a mining camp. Ah, okay, okay. Boom. Buildings must operate. Buildings require power to operate. Build pylons. Haha. <laughs> we must construct additional pylons. Okay, so. Ah, uh, okay, okay. So what's the minimum? There we go. I can build a pylon right there. All roads are one directional, but trucks will choose the best path or must be delivered to the starport. Wait. Uh, what's happening here? Why are all these roads dead ends? <laughs> um, hold on, guys. Why are these roads dead ends? Let me bl let me just bulldoze this. Hold on, real quick. I'm gonna bulldoze this area real quick. Okay, guys. I think I figured it out. So it turns out, the way you drag the road affects which way the road goes. So I have to drag it this way and then go like that. I couldn't just build a path starting from here and then going this way. There we go. Well, I figured it out. Okay, so we have to build another mining camp. We got to build another mining camp. Ooh, I like this. Let's get collecting on the resources. Ooh, defense. Uh, okay, it looks like we're going to have to defend our territory probably. So let's build a mining camp over here. And then let's build a mining camp over here. And then we got to hook stuff up using pylons. Uh, uh oh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Ah, there we go. Let's add some. Let's add some redundancy to our system. And then. Okay, I don't like how the road system functions though. That's a little bit. Road system's a little bit tough. There we go. And then. Can I have a road system that goes this way? And that goes this way. Ah, oh. is it because the roads can't tolerate double paths here? All right, guys, I think I got it. I think I got it. Man, these road systems are hard. Damn, I didn't realize this was going to be so tough. Okay, let's have a look at this. Management wishes for you to build a radar tower. This tower will allow us to observe the movements of local wildlife. Oh, I love it. Let's see. What is it? It uses ore. Ah, okay. So I can build a radar tower anywhere. So, I mean, I guess I can just build it close to the settlement, maybe? Mm, nah, let's put it down over here. This is actually a very interesting game now that I now that I figured out the road system. But the road system is unnecessarily complex i think but i don't know if there was any other way they could have coded it which is why i'm guessing it's complex because they maybe it was the only way they could, they could have coded the road system so i don't know so let's put the radar tower right next to our starport hopefully uh bad things don't happen to it uh oh we got alerts i need to build more solar panels oh why of course okay so i can just oh okay i can just link them up here like that and like that oh okay okay i like it so hold on, how much power are we generating out of these? We're producing 10 electricity. But can I not see my electricity? I can't see my electricity. Let's see. I can't see my electricity production, guys. Oh, no. Oh, it's right here. Is it here? Yeah, it's right here. Ah, okay, so I'm just a little bit short. So let's put down another solar panel. There we go. Now I'm generating 15%. Okay, plus 15 Okay, so I think the things could be a little bit more obvious here. I like how I like the idea that they're going for something clean. I like a nice little clean um, look, but some things need to be a little bit more obvious. Let's go to location here. What's what's our not enough workers? Build more co community centers and supply them with food. Ah, so this is where people live, right? Food stored nearby housing residents. Okay, so I have 30 residents here. Ah, okay, new lots available for development. Available, required. Okay, so let's build a little community center so this automatically i guess gets colonists to come in ah there we go we need f f 
Okay, we need food and we need rent is what it looks like here. So let's just hook it up right here. We got power now and then we need another greenhouse over here. Ah, uh, we're all ready to expand, but it looks like we don't have another truck here, which means all I gotta do is hook up a little truck over here. And that should get going. And there we go, the colonists have arrived. Wow, look at that, Space Express. And they're slowly filling up this little community center. And I guess the community centers is basically just a housing area. And now I have workers, and now I can see my mini-map. And that is beautiful, okay. I can't get behind these little, I can I can totally get behind these little cute little trucks. Oh, these are rent collector trucks. Oh, so these are the trucks that pick up money. And then these little trucks pick up food. Ah, interesting. I really love the aesthetic of this game. Like, I really love the aesthetic of space games in general. Oh my god, look at the vast expanse over here. Oh, that's nice. Okay, let's see. Insufficient proof food. Current production recommended 130. Uh-oh. So we're actually going to run out of food. Will people starve in this game? Is that even possible? Okay. Um... Oh no, I just realized placing this here actually kind of screwed me in terms of uh, how I'm going to place my next road. Like road placement in this game is just, mm -mm. it's tough. Okay, so I think I got to do this and then this and then this like that. Um, oh no, let's see. Because I give this as a possibility, right? But then the thing is... Hmm. Hmm. Roads are tough, guys. Roads are tough. Okay, so let's get a greenhouse here. Wait, what do you mean I can't? Oh, no. I have to... Oh, no way. Okay, so I can, I can build it here. I can build it here like this. Ah, I can actually have a lot of land surrounding the greenhouse here. Hmm, but I think the best thing to do would just be this. There we go. And then so I could just sort of demolish this section of road here. And then go around here, this way, and then this way, and then this way, just like that. And then there we go. I think we can probably get another little truck depot here. Uh, additional truck for delivery. And then let's see how this truck goes. Will, will they pick up the resources from here? That's the one thing I want to know. Because it looks like the trucks never go this way. Oh, okay, okay, no, the truck is going this way. It is going this way. Ah, you know what? This little expansion here is unnecessary. At least for now. So let me just get rid of it then. So the trucks never go that way. I mean, currently they have no need to, but... Hmm. I feel like road, like the doing roads is just going to be the hardest thing about this game. <laughs> Figuring out optimal road placement. So it looks like we are... Okay, so we're actually at no extra energy. And we have no power storage. Okay, so build more solar panels. So it's telling me that I should build more electricity. Let's just do that here. Uh, build some more solar panels here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can I, can I undo this one? Ah, yes. There we go. And then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make it every everything match here. There we go, nice and symmetrical. Okay, provide adequate power for the whole colony. I'm pretty sure everyone has electricity here, but ah, this little greenhouse here has absolutely no electricity. There we go, and now everything's powered up. I think. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's go. The radar has detected a sizable swarm of wildlife headed towards the colonists. You must prioritize defensive measures until this threat is neutralized. Oh my god. There are enemies in this game. Oh man, we can build a wall. Provides a barrier between us and nature. Oh. Do you know what this reminds me of? It's like it reminds me of like um they are they are billions. Recruit soldier workers to patrol and defend walls. This is literally just they are billions, but um Alien but with aliens. <sighs> I gotta power my garrisons here, okay, and then can I oh I can just link them up with um with something on the power grid, right? So as long as I have this here, that should power it up, right? Um Does that not require oh I don't produce enough. Cause that because I think that's my main solar battery, I guess. And then there we go. Oh wait, hold on. Hold on. It's not symmetrical, guys. Ah, gotta remove it. So let's just put this over here. 
And there we go. Okay, so that means now I need more people. Oh, and like citizens don't seem to be an issue because they just sort of automatically appear in thin air, I guess. Um, but I do need to get the delivery vehicle down. Oh, there's no way to max my space either because it seems like I need to have a road passing through regardless. So what if I do this? Okay, and then I gotta hook it up with a road here. So let's see, this road can go here. Go here. Go here. Go here, kind of like that. And there we go. We got, oh my God. Okay, the roads are honestly the most jarring part of this game. Um, but other than that, like, I like how everything looks. Let's see, so, we still don't have enough people, and we're still lacking some food here. I think it's probably the way I have my road set up, to be honest. <laughs> it's probably the way, because of the way I have my road set up. So let's just have a look over here. Um, uh, let's just, oh, oops. I keep, I keep pressing R, because R is usually how you rotate stuff in other games, but, um, not this one. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put a greenhouse over here, and then... I'm gonna put a greenhouse over here. There we go. And then, so this one's linked up to power. Uh, this one is going to be linked up to power very soon. There we go. And I love how the greenhouse, like you don't actually have to wall it off with um, roads. You can just let it grow. That looks really nice. Good luck, director. The wildlife stampede has been sighted on the horizon. Let us hope you've done enough. Wait, is this the wildlife? Is that it? Is that them? No? Okay, okay, we have a lot of people on the garrison. Okay, can we, can we... What is this garrison? They're just like little, they're like little manholes. Or like, not manholes, like little porta-potties. Ah, uh, oh no, this is the track that the wildlife are gonna take. Ah, uh, oh, it's one wave. Oh my god, this is like a tower defense game. But it's also a city builder? This is totally like We Are Billions. Oh my god. This is, this is really cool. Like, or it's like, not weird, but it's like, they are billions. They are billions. Not bad. Wrong game. Wrong game. So let's just, I can just put down another garrison if I want to, right? Do I have extra people here? Yeah, I have extra people here. Um, look at that. Oh my god, what are these things? Oh my god, Villas Rusticus. Oh, they look horrible. A common and slow and lowly working class animal. The Villas Rusticus seems to show no remarkable traits other than propensity to attack in great numbers. Oh my god, this is literally We Are Billions, or They Were Billions. Oh my god. That's so interesting. Alright, so here they come. I mean, I, 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 at least they're not attacking from here, I guess, because uh, we'll be screwed if they're attacking from there. Oh my god, okay, okay. Oh, our guys have little pistols. They're just like pew pew, pew pew. Oh my goodness. That's so interesting. I love the aesthetics of this game. I love how, like, nasty the bugs look. <laughs> oh my god. I'm probably gonna do a playthrough series of this, because I wanna- I just wanna see all the other maps and see what- see what- see how crazy it can get out there. Um... Oh, and there it is. We tried the first mission. No profits are lost. Operations can continue. That is peak capitalism at its finest, guys. Alright guys, so if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this Feature Friday, be sure to leave a like. Go and check out the playlist for more Feature Friday uh, content. I uh, feature indie games, I feature games that might be free on the uh, Epic Game Store. And yeah, be sure to go check those things out. And uh, stay tuned for more Second Earth, because I really like the aesthetic of this. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make a few videos on it. Um, and hopefully I can figure out how to do the roads properly, because... <laughs> They got me stumped, guys. They got me stumped. Until next time, I will see you guys later.